Good luck, Fred. Next up, we have the Jay-Z Jig Desertle. Um, this guy is a U555, number 10 hook. You could certainly use another alternative, but this is the one that we're tying on. So it's a 60 degree jig hook. And we are going to start out with some 210. I like to use either bright red or bright orange thread. That's gonna actually finish off the fly with a little hot spot. So throwing down our thread base here. And then the first stage is we're gonna put in some orange rubber leg and this is gonna be our antenna. So I'm just gonna fold that around my thread and tie this in going straight out the back. That looks great. And then I want to I want to leave this relatively long. So there's the back thread. And then I got some chenille. <laughs> Peanut gallery. This is uh, kind of some cool little new age chenille and it's called Goldstone. So I just give myself a little tie-in point there. Lock that in. So that's gonna be ready to tie up. Thick? My thread too thick? Yeah. No, it's not. I would prefer 280, but we'll go with 210. <laughs> All right, then we've got some large bead chain eyes, and we're gonna throw this in pretty close to the bend of that hook. And lash these guys down really well with this heavy thread. All right, and then Next step is we're going to use, this stuff is actually called chestnut, kind of a brown silicone micro leg. And I've got these pre-cut and I've got four legs here, which I'm going to divide out. And I'm going to tie them in about a quarter inch behind the eyes. I can get that thing laid in there. A couple turns back, a couple turns forward. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, take my thread around the top of the eyes and over the front of the hook. And I'm just gonna tie this down with a wrap, just kind of hold it out of my way. Then I'm gonna palmer up my chenille. Instagram for oh great. And I want to get three turns of chenille behind this first set of legs. And then I'm going to get two turns between. And now you see how I can just divide those right out. Get my turn up there. Then I can wrap this off and loosen these guys up. And then I'm going to get a turn behind my hook or behind or in front of these guys. And then I can spread them out. And then I'm going to figure eight the eyes. And then bring my thread right around the front. Get a couple turns off there. So that baby is essentially... All right, one more time. What are we tying, Fred? Uh, jig desertle. Cool. Yep. And then I'm just going to throw in one half hitch here just to give my thread, keep my thread from falling off the hook. Then I'm going to grab my rabbit strip. And what I'm going to do is, normally I'd have a bodkin here, but I'm just going to take this and use the scissor point. I just need to poke a hole to start out my tail. So we can just poke that. Then we're going to turn this guy around. Oop. Regal. It's not. Regal it's issues. Not problem. Yes, it is. User error with the Regal, since I'm not used to it. Um, What's up, Wade? Got my little... Santana. Pull there, so I'm just going to pull this on. Have to put it back in. Guys, we're tying the Jig Zertle. It's a new fly that we're putting on the TFP site in the next couple of days. 
So then we top it with the rabbit. This is a barred olive. Then all I gotta do is tie that off. So what I do is I start with the hide actually on my side of the hook because when I put thread pressure on, it will actually carry it around and it'll end up flush with the top where I want it. Here's another new one guys that we just are about to add. It's a new color of the gobleach. If you guys have seen that one on our site. It's a, kind of a yellow olive tail with a yellow hot spot on the front. In a hey, who's in charge of this video? Sorry. I, I'm over here tying. Oh, yeah, I was just telling what you did okay. before. That's good. That's fine. He's needy. <laughs> <laughs> so then all we got to do is tie the sucker off. And what I want to do is, is basically just cover up the bunny. And then I've got a, actually a little hot spot here. Whip it good. And then one final step. So this fly is basically like a little baby crayfish. We got all of our leggy parts. We got our feelers here. And then one little. Here, show that right here. Show it right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Yeah, there you go. And then one one last step is I'm actually going to take my rabbit strip and give it a little split down the middle. So it kind of has just more little wiggly parts, has more of a little crayfishy profile. So there we have the jig zertle. You can fish this thing under an indicator if you prefer, and it just glides right along, especially a little bit lower, a little bit down there, a little bit up, a little bit up, a little bit down, right? Even with the this mice. is how it jigs. Okay, there you go. It's <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Perfect. That looks awesome. All right. Does it work? No. Um, yeah, it does work. Music. Music.